if you know somebody who is in a very toxic relationship and you have been talking to them over and over again and you have been telling them that hey I need you to get out of it because this relationship is not good for you physically emotionally spiritually and in every asset of their life and I'm telling you they are still in that toxic relationship this may be the reasons why they are still in it before you judge them and before you crucify them watch this video till the end hello everybody welcome back to my channel Bella here it's always a pleasure having you around it's always amazing I look forward to this chit chat every single week so guys in today's video we will be talking about why some women choose to stay in toxic relationships yes you've heard me listen if you like move around maybe in every city you will have a minimum of a hundred women being abused daily I mean daily they may be abused physically spiritually emotionally and all of that so that like I said in one of my videos there are different kinds of abuse you know but today I will really be talking about you know being in a relationship with somebody it could be you know your sister is in a very toxic relationship and you don't know what to do you have advised her over and over and over again and mind you there are some guys as well they are in toxic relationships it may sound funny but yeah some women are so abusive to their spouse so this may be the reason why that sibling that friend of yours is still in this toxic relationship guys the very first thing why people choose to stay in a very toxic relationship it's because they are so dependent on their partner if you are new to my channel you know this is like maybe new to you as well but if you are an oldie this is like the norm of this channel every day i tell you guys or we talk you know about this very thing if you don't work on yourself if you don't improve on yourself if you don't strive to be the best version of yourself you will always be dependent on people don't get it wrong or don't get this twisted we all need people you know to to move on to our you know things that we want to do in life we need people people need us so that's why i need you to subscribe because you need to hear all of this so i need you and you equally need me guys so nobody's an island but what i'm talking about is if you go after your own dreams and not to depend maybe financially on your partner i'm telling you things will be different for you you will look at life in a different perspective because some people you know they'll always be like okay i'm not gonna work i'm gonna be a housewife and all of that one thing i tell people if your husband tells you to be a housewife which means that he doesn't want you to do a nine to five it means that you can start up a business in your own home at the comfort of your own home guys it doesn't mean that because you're a housewife you should just be totally dependent on him financially you can try to learn a craft you can do something you can start cooking as a side hustle and people pay you and you are still a housewife or and or you're still a stay-at-home mom or whatever and you still make things or get uh, start things rather you still get things going guys so please don't fall for that cheap scam don't be a lazy person don't be a lazy partner learn something learn a trade develop a craft you know study go to school do something that will improve you and everything that you are about guys so the very next thing why people choose to stay in their toxic relationship is because of the kids I always tell everybody your relationship when it started or if you are married to somebody when your relationship started God did not say that this marriage is for you your kids and your husband no it said the man will leave his family and the lady will leave or the woman will leave her family and they will become one the kids in that relationship or in that marriage are a blessing so kids don't come first it means your partner comes first because when both of you are healthy if you guys are in a good you know and very nice relationship or healthy relationship i would call it 
then the kids will benefit off of that relationship. It means that if you are in a toxic relationship and your husband is abusing you day in, day out, year after year and all of that, you choose to stay there. Maybe because, you know, you want your family and or you want your kids to be by their dad and all whatnot. Listen, somebody can still be so close to you, yet they are far away. So you guys, you know, will be, be so you guys will be in this toxic relationship and your kids will think that that is the norm and they will end up going into toxic relationships as well because their dad treated their moms like that so guys you don't want to be you know in that mode where you know oh i'm not gonna leave because i want my kids to be happy Give me 20 years down the line, 25 years maximum, maybe in African homes. Your kids may be married or they may be off to college and you will still be home with your husband. And you have lived 30 years, 40 years, 50, 60 years of your life with rejection or depression because you wanted your kids to be happy. Now they are happy, they are off to college and you have wasted your life. You haven't fulfilled any purpose. You never started that trade that you always wanted to do. You chose to be in that toxic relationship. The very next reason why people choose to stay it's very common in African homes. You know, if a family or if a relationship is not really doing good, they will say, oh, that lady is a very bad lady. So listen, that woman is bad. So you are scared that people will talk. You are scared, what are they gonna say, you know? So the very first thing is what will people say? That is why people don't, you know, want to leave. So you choose to stay because maybe it's a cultural thing. Or people say, oh, they'll say I'm bad, I'm good for nothing, so I will not leave my marriage. And every day you are depressed, you are suicidal, and all of that. I'm telling you, that is more harm than good. And the very next thing, guys, why people choose to stay is because of their environment. I always tell people that, don't be a product of your environment. That's why somebody said, don't let your background put your back on the ground. It's very important. People say that, okay, you know, because I'm in this environment, it's, you know, toxic and all of that. Let me just stay in this toxic relationship as well. No, maybe because your dad used to treat your mom bad, terrible and all of that. You now choose to stay in your own, you know, relationship, which is toxic because you think in your mind that it's a normal thing. Oh, daddy used to punch mommy. Oh, daddy was like this. So it's a normal thing. It's good. Let me just say, you know, that's how men are supposed to treat women. I'm telling you that is not true. That is from the pit of hell. A man should not be doing that to you if he truly loves you, abusing you day in and day out. Don't stay in that relationship simply because of your environment or your culture or whatnot. I'm telling you, if a man really loves you and if you are humble and submissive to this man, there is absolutely no way for him to abuse you in that manner. The very next thing why people choose to stay in toxic relationship is because they feel that they are unworthy or they feel that they cannot have something better. Listen, it's better to pray every day that, Lord, I want to be married than being married and every day you pray to be single because that will not work, guys. So what I'm saying is don't stay in that toxic relationship simply because you feel that you are unloved, you feel that you are worthless, you feel that you are good for nothing. Don't. You are beautiful, guys. If you are watching and you are a lady, you are amazing. You always deserve better than that. Don't stay in a toxic relationship because, you know, of your self-worth and all of that. In this channel, we build women to love themselves. We build women to tell them that they are beautiful and that they are the beauty of Christ. So guys, don't stay there saying that I'm not good enough. Maybe I'm so fat, I'm so thin, I'm too tall, I'm too short. I can't articulate words, words very good. Or I didn't go to school, I'm poor and all of that. Or I don't know anything. That's not what we do. In this channel, guys, we build each other up. We are a community. So if you want to know or see more of such videos, go ahead and click that bell because weekly we will be pouring out this kind of content. The very next reason, guys, is because some women 
don't want to start afresh. They are scared of starting because they'll say, oh, I've spent 20 years with this guy, 30 years. He's the only man that I've known. Why, let me just go ahead and, you know, stay in this relationship. Nobody would love me. Nobody would care for me. So let me just be in it anyways. Although I'm happy, although I'm suicidal and all whatnot, guys, don't stay in a toxic relationship simply because you feel that, you know, I can't start afresh. There are new every morning. You can always start afresh. It's never too late. You may be watching me, guys, and you are in a toxic relationship where you are being punched on. It could be physically, emotionally, financially. It could even be spiritually. Don't stay there because you, you know, say, well, let me just go ahead and stay because there's nobody out there that would love me. I'm telling you, there are people out there that would love you. There, are, there was somebody out there who would love you for you, who will not love you because they want to exploit you in any aspect of your life. It could be that you are not yet married to this guy and he's abusive. Move on with your life, guys. Stop him or just move on. And I'm telling you, you will find the right person who will love you. And before you know it, you will be happy yourself. You will be able to go after your dreams. You will be able to impact people and your generation. Like I always tell you, we are all beautiful in a unique way. Somebody out there is waiting for you to manifest. Is waiting for you to be the best version of yourself. Is waiting for you. Maybe you can be dancing. Maybe you're good at art. You can be good at singing. You can be good at just cracking jokes, making somebody laugh. You can be this person who is this maybe business mogul. You can be a person who is maybe going to school to be a physician. You can be doing nursing. You can be doing IT. Whatever field you are doing in this life, guys, you can even be cooking and you cook delicious meals. In all of these diverse things, you can be a singer, guys. In all of these things, you can still be a blessing to somebody because we are all unique in a good way. Together, we build each other up. If you are out there, there is like a helpline. You can always call. There are people out there who are ready to talk to you. Guys, I am here. I am also ready to talk to you. If you think that you are in an abusive relationship and you need somebody to talk to, feel free to reach out to me, guys. Until next time. Remember that you watching, you are beautiful and you are the beauty of Christ. It's always, always much love from me to you out there, guys. Stay strong, stay positive and do your best. Don't be that lady who is in a relationship just because they are so scared of starting all over. I'm telling you, there will always be a new and better beginning for you.